and welcome to 5 Minutes with Pastor Martin Somono. And today I want to share God's word with you from the book of Philippians chapter 4 verse 6. And it says, be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer, supplication, and with thanksgiving, make your request known unto God. You see, this is one of the basic principles that makes your prayer effective. He says, be careful for nothing. When you come to God to pray over any matter, you must recognize that God is bigger than the situation you're coming to Him for. Don't come to God with the consciousness of the problem bigger in your heart. Exalt God bigger than everything. Seek God's ability to change it. Remember the Bible says, He that comes to God must believe that He is the rewarder of them who diligently seek Him. So God is always bigger than any situation. So He said, be careful for nothing. Whatever it is that tries to trouble you, he said, bring it before the Father in prayer and supplication and then end it with thanksgiving. Why thanksgiving? is an acknowledgement knowing God's ability to answer that which you desire. Today being the last day of the weekend, how's your day weekend a week been? It doesn't matter what it was, whether good or whatever way it turned out to be. What is of the importance is you've got a God that can still make anything possible at the dying minute. And that's why he's God. He's called the creator. Whatever it is right now, you want a miracle for. Whatever it is you've experienced, know this one thing, that God has given you the potential and the grace and the ability and the gift to bring words that expresses your desire before him. And in thanksgiving, you are sure to receive that desire. And that is why I came to tell you today that let nothing bother you, let nothing trouble you, no matter how weighty it is, the news. In the place of prayer and thanksgiving, anything can be changed. Glory to God. You're out there right now. You've not had peace in your heart. You've been troubled by the situation. This is the hour for you. But before I pray with you, you've not made Jesus the Lord of your life. I want to say this prayer with me right now. Dear Father, I receive your forgiveness. I receive the witness of your spirit that I'm saved. Eternal life is mine right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you are right now, knowing that thing you want to see miracle in, I'm about to speak words. You're going to believe it and thank the Lord for it. And you're going to have the testimony. As I'm speaking right now, I see pains leaving someone right now. Your two needs. Your two knees have been stiff for some time. And every time you try to move, you suspect that try this. That devil is gone from you in the name of Jesus Christ. I rebuke that pain of the waist. There's this woman who's having this constant pain in the waist. And you suspect that something is there. The Lord is healing you right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This is so interesting. There's someone you can't sit for so long because of the pain on your cordial, your buttocks. The Lord is healing you right now. That growth is gone. I'm seeing a lady with a vaginal infection. You feel something is going around your vaginal area. That growth just passed out of your system in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Whatever oppression of the devil around your body, around your home, around your family, around your finance, I rebuke it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. And I declare the miracle is yours in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. I want to check yourself the miracle that's taking place and do well to get to our comment session and tell us what the Lord has done for you through today's broadcast. Till I come your way same time on Monday, this Pastor Martin saying, keep living in the miraculous. Shalom.